A very good evening to you. We are launching a brand new one day special right here, right now on Hochanda. And if this, this is the first time that you've seen a one day special, well, for 24 hours, we have products at a reduced price, at a great price for you. And the details are at the side of your screen right now. You can start ordering and checking out your basket. I've got a fabulous guest joining us for the whole of the One Day Special, and that's Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, good evening. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you very much. Now, Before you've already been on once today. I have, yes. I was on earlier this morning doing fabric and sewing machines, but this is... Probably my bigger love, hand sewing. Well, tell us whilst we're here a little bit about yourself, Rebecca, and why we have you here for the One um, Day Special. Well, I've been working in the craft business for um, too many years. I, my background is in craft magazines, so I used to be the technical editor of Cross Stitch magazines as well as sewing magazines. Um, so my job was to write instructions and tell people how to sew. And luckily, it's my hobby as well. I'm one of the few lucky people that has their job and their hobby. Um, I'm still working on magazines. I work on an embroidery magazine part-time, but I also demonstrate as well and teach and show people how to stitch and hopefully make them love it as much as I do. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, you've got the passion, and that's what we want here at Hochanda for you guys out there as well, to pass that on. Let's talk about the one-day special, though. It is extra special. You are getting both of the cross-stitch cushion kits from Verve. Vaco. They make an 80 inch cushion, uh, sorry, 8 to 80, that would be a rug. Uh, so <laughs> that would be a huge cushion, and I still love cushion. Uh, right, <laughs> 18 inch. Uh, so, what we've got here is the cross stitch. You've got the beautiful design that's hand painted. We'll talk to Rebecca about this in a moment's time. You've got all the threads that you need to finish the design. The designs are the poppy and that beautiful sunflower. Remember you're getting both. And let me pick this up. You are getting the backing of the cushion, which is one of the questions that's asked so many times. How do we make our cross stitch into a cushion? Well, you've got your backing here and it's already got the zip in. So you've got two of those because you've got two kits now you can divide the cost into two payments over two months 34 pounds and 98 pence today and then another 34 pounds and 98 pence in a month's uh, time remember your pmp is on your first purchase uh, on your first payment but if you're a freedom member there's no pmp to pay so all the thread all the instructions ready to go for these beautiful designs imagine these in your home maybe you've got an area in your home that needs brightening up or enlightening uh, maybe somewhere in the bedroom maybe you've got a chair there and you just need something to go on that chair just to decorate it maybe there's someone's birthday coming up and this could be the ideal gift for them either as two kits so they can have the projects or you could make this up and then give it as a gift. All ready to go with the backing on. All you need to do is provide the inner part of that cushion, which could be an old cushion you've got at home, or it could be a new um, cushion padding that you are buying. But can I ask Rebecca, can I ask Rebecca about the kits? Because in the meeting, we were talking about these pieces of artwork and how they're painted on. Why is that important and how special are these kits Rebecca because I know you love them I do I do well Vivaca the company has been just celebrated its 70th birthday which I think is wonderful it survived the digital age I mean it's been creating embroidery cross stitch wool kits for 70 years and it's still popular and every year they bring out more and more and more so I like the heritage behind it I think it's really nice when a company's got a good longevity in history and because of that they know what stitchers want now if you've ever done cross stitch before or needlepoint you probably call it tapestry but tapestry is actually a woven canvas um, cross stitch is or needlepoint is a stitch canvas if you've done it before there are three ways of doing it you can work with a chart where one stitch is one square on your chart and the problem with that is you've got to really concentrate you have to count how many squares on the chart then you've got to count how many to stitch the other way is a printed canvas, but often it's just a photograph or a painting printed on and you have to interpret which stitch to put where because sometimes the stitches overlap different parts of the canvas and you have to make that personal choice, which a lot of people don't feel comfortable with because they want their finished um, stitching to look exactly like the sample. So the beauty of this is it's hand painted and because Vivaco has been going for so long, it knows that if it's hand painted, it tells you exactly where to stitch. There's no sort of thought process behind. 
your where the painting is is where you stitch on the canvas and that makes it a lot easier for you particularly if you've not done this before um, or if you have and you've never tried a hand painted canvas before you will be converted because it's Perfect. easier. Oh, I love that I love how passionate you are Rebecca <laughs> and I know you guys are going to be passionate about your projects when you get them home as well so this is your one day special £69.96 you're saving £16 you're getting both of the kits remember it does include the backing of the cushion that has the zip in as well and you can divide that cost into two payments of £34.98 now we've got some happy hour deals on the show let's Let's take a look at those. We've got your Fiskar scissors. Uh, these are large universal scissors for you and they're £14.99. It's a happy hour deal which means this hour only that price is reduced to £14.99. Excellent scissors, very very popular here at Hochanda. Um, pop those into your basket if you need them. We've also got some Gutterman threads as well. We've got four white and oh three black, three black and four white. Um, and you've got 100 meters on each and it's excellent quality as well that is a great saving uh 10 pounds and 96 pence is a fabulous price it all counts does it not it all counts it's a happy hour deal it's reduced by two pounds and 73 pence to be precise but do you know what that money is back in your pocket and that's what it's all about 700 352 is your item number now, both of the options of the one-day special are available on their own. Now, I'm going to ask the question, are they available without the backing? Yes. So, if you want to go for the one-day special and divide it into two, you will be getting the cross stitch only with the thread and the needle, by the way. Um, and if you want to go for any of the cushion backings, because we've got more variety on the show, that's also available for you separately. And that is, at the bottom of the screen, £12.99. Shall we have a look at some of the other designs we've got available for you? Uh, right, the butterfly, yes. The butterfly. Let me open this up. Hopefully you can see this at home. It's a beautiful design because you've got your flowers and there you go. Then you've got your butterfly as well. Beautiful colours in the purple and the blue and you've got the lovely yellows there as well you've got those gorgeous it looks like cherry blossom at the bottom and then at the bottom you've got the area where you can actually connect your threads so you've got them there ready to go um, it's a beautiful design and if you want to go for this it's 29.99 remember if you want to go for the backing that's the cushion backing you can use your own but if you want to go for the one we've got available for you it's got a zip in already and it will fit perfectly with these projects let me just open Open this up and show you because these are 12.99 if you want to go for those that's the zip there you go so that'll be the back of your cushion if you want to go for that if you just want to go for the kit maybe you've got your own backing then 29.99 0.18706 is your item number right next up we've got a lighthouse so if you live beside the seaside beside the sea um, this would be absolutely perfect I think anyone living down in Cornwall, maybe they've got a little B&B &B down in Cornwall, getting ready to reopen again. Perfect. So this could be a celebration for you, for when the lockdown slowly draws to an <laughs> end, hopefully, and people can come and stay once again at your B&B. &B. It looks absolutely gorgeous, Rebecca. Mm. Is something like this difficult to do, difficult to pick up? No, it's not. It's easy. And this is what I love about it, is that it's, it's easy and it's portable. Because, I mean, I love machine sewing. I like patchwork and I like to sit on the machine and cut. But, you know, you need portable stuff as well because I like in the evening I prefer to sit and watch the TV and stitch yes of course you'll be watching Hochanda well yes and I like yeah. to stitch while I'm watching TV and what I love about this is because it's printed it's easy you don't have to concentrate it's one of the few things that you can do subtitles with yeah. so you can watch one of those dramas that's got subtitles and you can stitch at the same time you? you know and that's important isn't it that is important you know you can get subtitles on uh, facebook live when you watch us on hochanda yeah Whoa. you can i don't know whether it's when you go out live but i know when you watch shows on repeat <laughs> on facebook and it's quite hilarious as well because it's facebook that are actually putting the subtitles on i watched myself the other night <laughs> I actually made more sense with the subtitles, <laughs> even though some of them were wrong. It's, it's, it's hilarious. Go and have a look at that. Anyway, um, these make 16-inch cushions. Uh, fabulous design. And they come in a lovely packet. Uh, so if you want to give this as a gift, you can wrap it up 
And there you go. So you've got the cushion on the front. The instructions are all included and all the kit is in there for you. £29.99. It's your DIY kit. Next up, uh, the Robin has been very popular. This is a beautiful image. Do you know why I like this? If this is a cushion, because you don't have to have it as a cushion. You can have it as a wall hanging. But if it's a cushion, do you see how those flowers just wrap around? So it's not, it's not on the front of the cushion, it wraps around the cushion if you've got the correct wadding inside. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. And robins are the national bird uh, of the UK and they're here with us all year round. A robin is not just for Christmas. <laughs> So if you want to get hold of your Robin, it's £29.99. Absolutely love the daisies on here. Love the colours as well. Beautiful design. Beautiful design. 018706. Uh, and very easy to put together. There you go. Oh, we've got a cat sleeping. Look at this. Look at a little puddy, tuddy, tuddy, puddy. Look at that. Oh, it's, I look at the little love heart for the nose. Now, I like this because I like the colours in the background. Is he a... Rebecca, does he look like he's sleeping on a bookcase? Yeah, he is. And I think that's his name, kitten sleeping, because he's sleeping on a bookcase. He's just fallen asleep amongst all of them. It's beautiful, oh, isn't he? What, I wonder what book he was reading before he <laughs> fell asleep. Cats. Probably. That's not a book. Very though. good. That's not a book. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a play, and I've sat through it. Uh, right. <laughs> actually, I, actually, I will admit, I actually crawled out of cats. Did you? Yes. Mm. I just couldn't take it anymore. And I've I didn't want to disturb anyone. So yeah. I actually crawled out of cat. I felt the same. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Alley cat, <laughs> majestical cat, yeah, oh. whatever cat. But if you enjoyed it, fair enough. No, you know, no disrespect. Right, anyway, there's your cat. And it's asleep and it's beautiful. <laughs> £29.99. Uh, next up, we've got a lovely geometric um, pattern here. Um, this is lovely because, uh, do you know, if you can stretch to two, I think if you had two of these on a sofa, they would look fantastic. They really would. Because you've got that very modern design, but it's also traditional. So it's very on trend at the moment, but it will keep being in trend because you've got that vintage vibe to it. £29.99, 018706 is your item number. Uh, Rebecca, with a geometric pattern like this, would you say uh, that it's more difficult or less difficult than putting together maybe the cat, which is a picture? Well, no, no, it would be the same because, because it's a painted canvas. It's very easy to see exactly where the stitches are. And also, when you get your kit, you'll see that the photo that's on the front you could actually stitch from. You can see each stitch individually. So do you know what? They're all just as easy as each other. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do like that one, though. And as it says, mm. it's very easy. We like it that. It's very easy. Yes. Now, next up, we've got a Parliament of <laughs> Owls. Yes, more than one owl is called it's a, a parliament. parliament of Owls. Hoo -hoo. Oh, two wise old birds right there. And I'm not talking about myself and Rebecca, respectively. I'm talking about the two <laughs> owls that are on the cushion right here. I won't call myself wise. Uh, 018706. Lovely colours uh, in that. Nice bright colours. So that's really... It's, it's a lot of fun, something like that. £29.99. pence. Oh, this has got to be my favourite. Of course it is. It looks like my little Millie. Oh, little Jack Russell, isn't this gorgeous? I bet this is going to be popular. Oh, look, look at it. And it's just tilting its little head ever so slightly, little ears flopping forward, little tiny nose, little collar. Oh, well, actually, it's a big collar, isn't it? So it's a puppy. Oh, it looks like it's a puppy in a basket. That is so sweet. That is gorgeous. If you know anyone that likes a Jack Russell, they're going to love that. And I bet when you've made it, between you and me, the Jack Russell will love it too. £29.99, 018706 is your item number. Right, next up, uh, we've got the birds and the blossom. Um, I believe these are, these look like they're either great tits or cold tits because they've got the whole of the black of the head. 
Um, these are brilliant. I love these. Aren't they pretty? In that cherry blossom as well. What a lovely image to have with that green border. £29.99, 018706. If you want to turn this into a cushion, remember we've got the cushion backs with zips. They're twelve ninety nine. Details at the bottom of the screen for those. So you've got a choice, everyone. You've got a choice. We've got the one-day special and we've got some other items as well. If you are going for the one-day special, because that's available on FlexiBuy, anything else you add to your basket will also be divisible in to two it's interest free payments for you uh, you can head to the website you can see all of the goodies that we've got available for you uh, but we are going to head to Rebecca because we've got the first demonstration now live here in the studio uh, Rebecca what are we going to have a look at first well I'm just going to talk you through what's in the kit because I think that's important so you can see what what you're getting for your money because it's actually really good value I think for 29.99 you're getting quite a lot in here so first of all you have your full hand painted canvas i'll just turn it round to face me so as you can see every color is painted onto here which shows you where to stitch and i'll go through that in a little bit to show you how that works and on the bat bottom of the canvas are the little rectangular swatches which is each color and then i'll show you how to sort in a minute there's enough space around here so that the canvas won't fray which is useful you've got selvages down the edge but there's enough space and there's even the corners printed so that you can see um, where the edges are because the background isn't printed because it doesn't need to be because anything that's not printed you stitch in your background color which for this sunflower cushion is cream you'll see when you get your kit what your background color is um, also in the kit is the photo which i talked to you about before it's so clear you could actually stitch from this even without the printed canvas and which makes painted canvas which makes things a lot easier because if you're a little bit unsure or you just can't remember which color you can look at this and you can easily see where to go on the back of it are the instructions in all different languages depending on which one you want and some really clear diagrams of how to cross stitch i mean cross stitch is ever so easy and i'm going to show you that in a bit but from here you you've got everything you need so you don't need to think before which makes it a really good gift so if you know someone who hasn't stitched before or is just starting or wants something to do you know i i gave one of these to my auntie because she has a lot of time in the evenings watching the tv and she wanted to do a bit of stitching she's done sewing before but not this so i bought her one of these kits because it's got everything she needs and the instructions so it's it's a wonderful gift for somebody um you also get all the yarn that you need and look how much there is all of the colors now they're not sorted but they're quite easy to tell which is which um, this is tapestry wool, which is a specific thickness of wool. And the great thing about it is you just use it as it is. It's not like stranded cotton when you do embroidery where you've got to split it down. It, it is what it is and you just stitch with it. You also get a needle, because and that's threaded through the canvas, which is obviously very important. Now this is a tapestry needle, which means it's got a large eye so that you can get the wool through it and it's got a blunt end. And the reason it's got a blunt end is because we're not going to be piercing any fabric threads like you do if you're doing embroidery or normal sewing we're just going to be going through holes and having the blunt end like this so i lay it on the table and then you can see better um, it means it won't start piercing things so it's exactly what you need also this is great if um, you struggle to thread a needle this is really easy the wool goes through it very very easily i'll show you in a bit exactly how to thread it but you don't <laughs> now I've dropped it you don't need special needle threaders or good eyesight it just goes through ever so easily so there's everything you need and there's also a label which you can sew onto the back of your cushion afterwards so everything you need is in the kit now, can I just say that the details on your screen at the moment, £29.99 is for the sunflower kit, if you wanted to go for that, and the other kits we've got available for you. So it's one item number, but you've got a whole choice on there of what to go for. So if you do like that sunflower, you can go for that individually, £29.99. Uh, we'll head back to Rebecca. I just wanted you to know that at home, uh, but we'll carry on with the demo. Okay, so what you need to do first of all is identify which colours are which because you don't want to get halfway through and realise oh I've been stitching all the light brown with the medium brown so if you look on the bottom of this canvas and whichever kit you buy it will be exactly the same you can see there's a little swatch of each colour so in this sunflower there's one two three four five six seven eight colours of wool 
and the background colour, which is what I said earlier, isn't printed, so you don't need to worry about that. So what I would do to start with, do take out one of each of these colours, which I did earlier. And it's quite a useful thing to do because then you realise what the shades are. So if you look on here, there are three shades of green, light, medium and dark. So you take out, I took out two and thought, oh, well, I'm missing one, then realised there was a medium one. So you take out your light, your medium and your dark. And then you have a look at this and there are two shades of brown, a dark brown and a medium brown. And then there's a gold and a dark yellow and a light yellow. Then what you do, so take out one of each of these so you can identify them. And then just cut a little bit off the end of one of them. Woo. Thread it in your needle. I'll show you how to thread it. The easiest way, which I, di I did a little bit earlier, is fold the wool around the eye of the needle and pull it off so it's tight and you've got a little loop between your finger and your thumb and then you can just push that through the eye of the needle and it comes through quite quite easily then you can just thread the end through but this is sort of an easier way to do it when you've done that just loop that through the center of this square now you might think why am i doing this in advance tighten a knot and then it'll stay put. And the reason for that is when you're stitching, you know, you do this in good light because I sorted mine out and realised I was missing the green and then I was missing a brown. When you're then stitching later, say you take it on holiday with you or you're on a train or a bus or you've got it popped down the side of the sofa or it's a bit dim in the evenings with the light, you can easily identify these colours. Um, then another thing you could so do that with all of them and then you've got them across the bottom and then when you're stitching the dark green and you pick one out of here in the evening and think oh I'll just stitch a bit of dark green and you think oh no that's the medium green it, it's much easier it just means you don't have much unpicking to do um, you can if you like you can sort all of these wools so you can take all the dark greens out and all the meat you can pre-sort them and then just loosely knot them and put them or put them in separate bags you don't have to do it because actually they're quite nicely folded, they're not knotted, and because of the sort of wool it is, they don't tend to get tangled up together. But, you know, just keep them neatly or pre-sort them. So once you've done that, then you're ready to go. Now, the way that this works, this canvas is called a double canvas. There are two different sorts of canvas. There's a mono, which is a single, or there's this double canvas. And that means that it's woven in pairs of threads, which makes it quite strong. So if you look at this really closely, if you come in very close, you can see that there are pairs of threads that go vertically and horizontally. And then where they intersect, there's a hole, which I'm going to just point. Can you see with my needle? I can't see the... Here you can. Um, so where the pairs of threads are, there are tiny holes between them, don't go through those. It's these big holes that are in the middle that you sew through. So there's four and a half holes per inch, which makes your stitches quite big, which is why it's cross stitch and not that you have a whole cross stitch and not um, just half a stitch. Perfect. And then that covers that really nicely. So it's easy to start, even for a beginner, to take it really out of the Really easy. Pack. Just take a little bit of time to have a look at it, get all your kit out, look at the threads, work out, oh, that's where the holes are. Yeah. And then you're ready to go. Yeah, perfect. I love that. Right, you've got a choice. You've got a choice. If you want to go for the sunflower, it's right there. You can see it in front of Rebecca. That is £29.99. pence. You get the threads, you get the needle, and you get that beautiful hand-painted print on there for you to start working with. Uh, right, so we've got some embroidery threads for you. Oh, these look lovely. Uh, you're also getting the hoop. You're getting needles, and you're getting floss. And scissors. Oh, where's the floss? I don't have the floss here, I don't think. Uh, so you are, you're not sure what floss is. I don't got one here. Floss, not dental floss. Are you trying to tell me something out there? Uh, so you get your embroidery um, floss um, and you get all these beautiful coloured threads. It's the whole colour of the rainbow, isn't it? Whole colour of the rainbow. Do you know something? Do you know what the embroidery floss is? It's what you're looking at, isn't it? So you get your eight inch hoop, the needles and the embroidery floss. So that's the embroidery floss. That's the embroidery floss. Yeah, it's just the USA. It's just that they call it floss and we call it stranded cotton. There you go. So I don't need to clean my teeth. Everything no. is all right. <laughs> 
Now you get a hundred. Now I never get. This is another word I struggle with. Str struggle. struggle. <laughs> I'm really struggling <laughs> with my words today. Skein. 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 You see, skein. Uh, so there are a hundred skeins in there, all mm -hmm. different colours. Um, absolutely beautiful. And this is your wooden hoop as well. It's adjustable, so you can just simply unscrew that, and then you can put your fabric in there. And that is eight inches, an eight-inch hoop. It's a great price. You're saving ten pounds. It's seventeen pounds and eighty-five pence. Six zero seven zero four eight is your item number. Now, we've got something else for you on the show. We've got some latch hook projects. Uh, Rebecca, let's talk about latch hook projects. Well, in the same way as the cross stitch, they are painted canvases. But the difference between this canvas and the cross stitch canvas is, you remember I said earlier that you get a double thread and a mono thread. The way that that one is woven with the latch hook is just a mono thread. But again, it is the same size holes. It's four and a half holes to the inch. So it's a different technique um, it, it is just as simple, you've, you've got to practice maybe five or ten times how to do the, ho the hooking, which I can show you later. Yeah. Once you've practiced that, it's exactly the same, but it's got a really big heritage latch hook. It's the sort of thing people used to do years and years ago, but they used to do it with scraps of fabric, where they would hook all waste fabrics through canvas, and then they would create rugs with them. Oh, wow, yes, I but know the sort, I know the sort. But Definitely. you can do it either with wool, which is what these kits are, yeah. and it, um, it gives you a really fluffy texture because basically you're looping a small length of yarn, exactly the same as this yarn that's in the cross stitch kits. You're looping it through the canvas using the tool which comes with the kit, and the tool is called a latch hook, funnily enough. And, you're, and you loop it through and it gives you this beautiful, fluffy texture. How lovely. Oh, these are gorgeous. Now, the project that we've got here for you today is available on Flexibuy. I'll just pop that back in. And I'll show you the size of it because seeing the picture there, it looks gorgeous. Those two beautiful swans. But look at the size of this. It's 55 by 40 centimetres. Or is it inches? Centimetres. Centimetres. That is quite the size. And that could be a little table rug. Mm -hmm. It could be a little rug to pop your feet on. Um, I know it's a bit weird, isn't it, seeing me behind there? Uh, maybe popping your feet on that at the end of the night <laughs> yeah. uh, would be nice and soft. Um, it could be at the bed, bedside, which would look really nice as well. It would be well. a nice bath could, mat, wouldn't it? Yeah, and it would make a nice bath mat. It really would, and quite an elaborate one as well. Two payments of £28. It's 55 99 if you want to buy it in one go. You've got all the instructions in the kit as well. You've got all the beautiful threads that you need uh, to create a wonderful piece that you could actually also put on your wall if you wanted to. This could be a brand new craft for you. 469521. Now the favourite project of my dear producer Katie, who interestingly was going to be called Jamie if she was born a guy. Um, just a little conversation we were having earlier. Uh, but this is a lovely kit. If you know anyone, if you know anyone that loves horses, this is going to be a fantastic gift. Because when you've been out riding on the horse, when you've been out mucking out your horse, just taking care of things, when you get home, you just need to <laughs> snuggle on down, don't you? Because it's been a long day. This is going to be perfect. Or maybe you know somebody that goes to shows and they sit down and they watch some of the horse shows and the trials. Um, yeah, the trials, they're all found guilty last time. Um, <laughs> yeah. The old ones are the best ones. Uh, two payments of £20. If you do want to go for this one, we do have some other options for you. So you've got your horse, which is lovely, 39 99 We've got the winter scene. I've got that here, actually. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I've just got to pick this up. This, this is so cute. Th th I went directly. When I came into the studio, I just ran up to this, and I was just like, oh, look at that little woodgy bunny rabbit. Uh, and you've also got the hummingbird as well. So the bunny rabbit, so super cute, look at that, with the robin and the berries. Isn't it lovely? And using that white as well, it really does look like the snow and the light just, uh, just shining up. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you the hummingbird. There you go. So nice little kits, great as a gift to give somebody. £39.99. Absolutely superb. Uh, we've also got some Aida for you. This is part of our seven day savers. Here we go. Um, now this is excellent for your cross stitch. You get two white and two off white. 
Oh my word, look at the price. It's 16 count. That is a good quality, excellent quality in fact. It's 100% uh, cotton fabric. It's a fat quarter. Uh, it's, it's Ada as well, so you know that it's going to be perfect to use. It's only 9.99. My word, seven day savers. You're saving 15 pounds on that deal. Oh my word, you'll be stocking up on that one for sure. Now, we've got some uh, trim it cotton for you. Here we go. Um, you've got 100 skeins. Skeins, I always, why do I, I've only been here three years. Why do I get it so wrong? And there was um, a haberdashery shop in my village. I was best friends with the girl, Susan. I don't know why I don't get that right. Anyway, £10.49, £8.50 saving on that. And that's it. That's it. Um, let's head back to Rebecca. We've got another demonstration. Rebecca, what are we having a look at now? Well, I'm going to show you how to start the cross stitch. It's always the same when you start a new technique or a new thing you haven't done before. You've got to work out how to start. And then once you're, you're rolling, it's easy because it, it's basically the same thing. So let's thread our needle. Now, the most important thing is when you start and finish, you need to start and finish securely because you don't want it to come on, come undone. Most probably you'll make this into a cushion, but it's going to be on the sofa. It's going to get use. It's going to get wear. You could make it into a bag because actually at uh, 16 inches square, 40 centimetres, that's quite a good tote bag size. So you could use this for the front of a tote bag. Use some heavyweight sort of curtain weight fabric for the back of it. Add a couple of handles. Um, that's a really unusual tote bag or quite a good shopper because it would be really strong. Um, so therefore, you don't want this to come undone. Don't use knots because knots can come undone but when you're stitching the best way to do it is to weave your thread in and out of stitches you've already worked that's the safest way but obviously when we start we haven't done any stitches so we're going to use a knot but not in not a knot that i would that would come undone because we'll cut it off later so because the holes are quite big in this not the first length of thread that you're going to start with twice now i'm going to start with dark green you can start wherever you want. This is the beauty of cross stitch, is that you don't have to work from the top down or the side in. You could work all the colours first. What I would say is work the pattern first and the background last. That will make life a lot simpler because then you can fill in with the background. That's the only rule, is do the pattern first and the background last. It makes it easier if you've missed any stitches to make sure it's all filled in. But other than that, you could work right all the dark green, all the brown, all the gold, or you could think, well, I'm going to stitch the whole of this leaf first, or I'm going to just stitch the branches. It's up to you because sometimes it gets a bit boring doing the same colour, or sometimes you want to have finished a whole thing. So let's say we'll start with the dark green. I'm going to start stitching this area here. Now, if you look at this, you can see where the pairs of threads have colour on them, that's what you stitch. So if we look at the dark green here, there's one stitch here that's got colour on the intersections. Then there's a medium green. And then we've got one, two, three, four dark greens below it. If you're not sure at all, if we get the photo that's on the front of the pack, then you can see quite easily that this was, this is the leaf that, no, this is the leaf we were talking about. And you remember I said, there's one dark green. There's the dark green there. Then you've got a medium, there's the medium. Then you've got four dark green, there's the four dark green. So it's really easy to see which one is which. So when you're starting off, I'm going to start this by stitching this top one here. F take the thread from the front about, I don't know, three, two, three inches away from where you're going to start. And then the knot will sit on the front of the canvas. Don't worry about that because we'll get rid of it later. Now, bring your needle up through one of these big holes and that's where we're going to start our first stitch. Now, if you look, if I just quickly turn it over, you can see we've got this thread running across the back of the canvas. That will be covered up by the stitches that you do afterwards. And when you've finished them, you can then cut the knot off. So it's called the waste knot method because we'll get rid of it later, but it's quite a good way to start at the beginning. So let's work our stitches. Now, you can work your stitches in whichever direction you want, either top, top left to bottom right or the other way around. The only thing is do them all the same because when you do stitches, the light falls on them in a different way so, and it will also look really messy. So if you've got some stitches that are going 
top left to bottom right and some that are going bottom right to top they will just look quite messy and the light will fill them and funny so whichever way you do it just stick to it so i'm going to go top left to bottom right so you bring the needle up through the top left and then you take it back down to the bottom right that diagonal stitch is now covering those pairs of threads that were colored in that color that's really easy the next stitch we miss because that's a medium green and then we're going to stitch the next one I'm showing you this flat on a table, but if you're sitting on the sofa or on the bus or on holiday on a deck chair, you'll probably have it in your hands like this. Bring the needle down again. There's another diagonal stitch. And we've got another three below this. So bring the needle up in one hole. And you see how big these holes are? It's quite easy. There's no sort of trying to pierce. It's not like embroidery where you've got to get it right. This is really easy. So we do one, two, three. Because remember we had one at the top and then four at the bottom. When you do your stitches, don't pull the thread really, the wool really tight or it will bunch up on the, and it will look stretched. But don't leave it so loose that it's sort of hanging, bagging off the, off the canvas. Just pull it enough so it sits nicely. Right now we've done all our stitches one way. We're going to turn them into cross stitches now. So come up at the bottom left square and take it back in on the, in the top right. So we're going to go into the same hole that we've already worked into. When you go into that same hole, make sure you're in the hole and you're not piercing any of the wool that you've already worked or it will look messy. When you add subsequent colours, you'll end up with slightly mixed colours. So because the tapestry needle is blunt, that's quite easy. It, it won't tend to. But if you just pull it up slightly in the wrong place, just make sure it goes through the wool, through the hole and not the wool. So we'll work back bottom left to top right. And once you've set the way you do it, and I, I think people tend to have a way that works best for them, that feels right, just do them all the same, miss the stitch, and then put it back in there. So now we've got, see how quick that was? We've now got one, miss a stitch, and then four, and those are done. So what I would probably do now, I would do all the other dark green ones around here. You don't really want to be going over more than about five or six stitches on the back of your work otherwise you'll have a lot of loose threads running across the back and you don't that will be messy so if it's probably best to use this waste knot method or work in the back um one thing to look at now is if i turn it over is look at the back and look how neat that is because of the way that we've done it you've got lovely neat horizontal stitches on the back and I know people, you are not going to see the back of your work, but the reason why you need to keep the back of your work neat is because then loose threads or wools won't get caught in other stitches that you have to then keep cutting off. Try and keep the back as neat. It also, if you've got lots of bulk on the back because you're crossing threads all over the place, it will make it quite uneven when you make it into a cushion. So, Perfect. but if you follow this method, it will be neat anyway. Excellent. Excellent. I love that. You see how easy it is to put together and all the instructions come in all of the kits. Now, many of you are going for the kits individually <laughs> at £29.99 and, and you can do. You're more than welcome to go for the poppies individually, to go for the sunflower individually. But if you want both of them with the backing, this is where the backing comes in. When you go for your one day special, you get both projects. So one might be for you, one might be for your dad, one might be for you, one might be for your mum. You might be giving these as gifts, they might be gifts for yourself. But with your one day special, we have got the backing with the zip already in. So if you've come this far on Father's Day and you've just realised that perhaps you've not got that gift you should have got, why don't you pop these in your basket and then just tell your dad he's got something on the way. So happy Father's Day to everyone out there. And happy Father's Day to Jimmy's dad as well, apparently. He's forgotten to call you so far. So I'll, he, he is going to call you, um, but... I got there first. Happy Father's Day, Jimmy's dad. And happy Father's Day to all you lovely dads out there as well. Uh, right, and to any single mums, happy Father's Day to you guys as well because you're the mum and the dad, aren't you? Right, okay. So this is your one day special. You can buy them individually, but we've got a happy hour. Yes, we have. Let's bring the details up. Now, I've, there's no way of holding <laughs> holding these so they look neat i'll try and do it as best i can uh, you get four white and three black threads and these are 100 percent cotton absolutely fantastic 100 meters on each 100 meters on each so you've got 700 meters there 
700 metres. Who would have thought I'd have be holding 700 metres in my hands? £10.96. You are saving £2.73 this hour. Um, so if you do go for these, that's your saving. That's your happy hour deal. 700 three, five, two is your item number for those. Right, let's move on because we've got some options for you. Um, here's your butterfly. And these are all 16 inch cushions. Let me just pop that. And let's pop those there. Now, if you want to go for the one day special ones on their own, they are included with this item number, which is 018706. Now the colors on this are absolutely beautiful. There's your butterfly. £29.99, 018706. It's the same item number. We're going to take you through your different options. So that is your beautiful butterfly kit with your, your lavender colours in there and your purples and your pinks, lovely pastel. And you can make and create a cushion. If you want to go for the cushion backing, it is available for you at £12.99. We'll pop the details on the bottom of the screen. This is the backing for the cushion. A question asked so many times is how do we make it into a cushion? Well, if you get hold of this, it's the perfect size. It's the perfect uh, partner to go with your purchase. £12.99, 713104, your item number. The zip's already in there as well, so you don't need to worry about that and popping it in. Uh, next up, the lighthouse. Now, actually, talking of lighthouses, stay tuned for the next show. Our Phil Martin's here with a rather nautical theme. Hello, sailor. Um, so, do watch that show with Adam. Uh, it's double Hello Sailor at seven o'clock tonight here on Hochanda. Right, 29.99, It's a beautiful design, isn't it? Because it's very bright. So I love that. You've got the birds flying. And as it says at the top, it's very easy to do, but it looks absolutely stunning once completed with those sailboats as well. So that is your lighthouse option. Next up, you've got your Robin. Oh. Red, red Robin comes bob, bob, bobbing along. He certainly does. Or she. Oh, Robins are great. Have you ever seen them when Robins have their little babies? A baby Robin, they're so sweet. They look like they've got a really big mouth and they've got a speckled chest. They don't have the red breast when they were younger. Um, and they do a lot of flapping. But what's really interesting is that the mum and dad really bully them. I know it sounds cruel, but they're just preparing them for life. So the robins actually want their children to go pretty quickly from the nest. They're like, come on, get out there. You're on your own now. But it's it, seriously, get a job, get out there. <laughs> but mum, dad, these times are hard. I don't care. Off you go. Uh, but it's interesting to see they're a wonderful bird. They're a tough bird. They're a strong bird. Um, and they stay with us all year round. So this is a delightful cushion to have. And look at the daisies. They're lovely, aren't they? Um, this is actually one of my favourites. £29.99. 018706 is your item number. The sleeping cat proving to be popular. The little pussy cat is purring away asleep on a book. Um, really nice colours in this. So you've got your reds, you've got your gold colours in here as well, you've got the white. So have a look around your room at the moment, see what colours you've got in there. Have you got some green? This would be perfect. Have you got some browns and golds and yellows and greens? This will be perfect for you. £29.99. Next up, you've got your geometric. Like this. I like this a lot. Now we're looking at this a geometric shape, so I'm seeing flowers around the edge. I'm seeing that lovely cross in the middle. Then I'm seeing the flowers around the outside. Beautiful designs. Again, great colours in there of your greens and your creams and your blacks as well. So this should go in any room that you've got in your home. £29.99. Next, your Parliament of Owls. You're double trouble with your owls here. Aren't they sweet? Pink and purple. Beautiful. Two wise old owls. Um, again, not talking about myself and Rebecca. Uh, well, Rebecca is wise. But not old. But not old. See? And I'm old, but I'm not <laughs> wise. <laughs> Some people might say. Uh, a great kit here. £29.99. 018706 is your item number. Same item number for all the kits. You just choose which one you want. Now, this has got to be my favourite, has it not? Look at the doggy. Just look how cute that face is. Just, just to the side, just having a look. Maybe, maybe... That little doggy wants a treat. And all doggies around the country now are thinking, oh, who said that? 
Or maybe that little doggy is waiting for Ray, the postman. Now, my Millie is running around the room. I think it's absolutely beautiful. You've got that lovely sky colour in, uh, in the background. Who cannot fall in love with that? £29.99. And as you stitch it, as that picture starts to come to the fore with all those stitches, it's just going to be absolutely wonderful to complete. Uh, next up, you've got your birds and your blossoms. Another beautiful one, which would go perfectly, actually, if you were going with the robin. That would be a really good pair. Can I bring the robin in a moment? Um, I'm just going to lift these up together because you can go for more than one. Imagine those two there in your home. You've got the birds and you've got the robin. That would be really nice. Absolutely beautiful. That's it. That's your decor done. £29.99 for each. Brilliant price, uh, 018706. Now we've got some more latch hook kits for you, a more softer approach, a bit like Terry Towling. Um, this is the unicorn. Now this will be absolutely gorgeous for a little girl or a little boy's bedroom, don't you think? Or even a larger girl or a larger boy's bedroom or an older boy's bedroom, should I say. Um, there's a freedom price on here. £13.49. They come in a great box, by the way. So if you're buying this as a gift is it too early to think about stocking up for christmas gifts of course it's not uh, there's your rocket oh i love that zoom zoom to the moon ah, i love and that is quite prominent this year with all the space activity that's been going on um yeah four double two two oh seven and then you've got the happy face oh this is pretty cool isn't it it's an emoji it's that happy face with the sunglasses on 13 pounds and 49 pence we've also got a sunflower which is really nice with the blue background. Love that, love sunflowers. Very tactile as well, because it's so super soft. And again, they come in that beautiful box. We've also got the butterfly, which is lovely. Now that looks like a red admiral, doesn't it? And then, oh, we've got a rainbow. We have got a rainbow, look at that. That is lovely. Now, that's one to get, isn't it? It's very, very current. Um, so maybe, you know, somebody that deserves a soft cushion, you could make that for them with the rainbow on. £14.99. As I say, they come in a lovely presentation box. Uh, right, we're heading back to Rebecca. We've got more demonstrations. What are we have a look at now, Rebecca? Um, well, I was just get, going to explain. So once you do this, and you, I said to you, you know, you can choose, all, you do all the stitches in one colour, whichever you want, or you can do ones next to it. When you want to add um, in another colour, so say I chose the medium green, this is just quite important that you make sure that when you put the next colour in, it sits right next to them. Because I've done some stitching now, I can show you how you start and finish without that waste knot method. Thread your needle underneath the stitches already worked, all the way one way, under about four stitches. Doesn't have to be exact, but about four. Not two, not eight, but about four. Pull it all through with just a little tail, and then thread it back through again. There we go. And that's enough just to hold it. So it's the same way that you finish a, a length of yarn. So if I'd finished this one, weave it back in and, and back again, and then cut off the yarn when you finished it. So I'll just cut that one off. That gives you a really neat back and it means it doesn't all get caught in. So that's how you start and finish if you've already worked some stitches. And then if I'm going to stitch these gr medium green ones next to the dark, remember what I said before, make sure your bottom stitch is all facing the same direction. And when you work stitches next to ones that have already been worked, make sure you go through the hole and not through the stitch. Don't pierce the wool, just go through the hole. And then you just work exactly the same way. You work the, cross, the half cross stitches, which is that bottom diagonal. And look, you can really easily see, there isn't really a lot of thought here. But what I love about this is that it's really easy, but it's so effective. I think quite often on our sofas, we just have cushions that match our sofa in a plane or a print. And we don't often think about having pictures, but they're just so, so lovely. 
they add a real sort of personality and brightness to the room that's, yeah, that's it's nice. Yeah, it's nice with the picture. Do you know why? Because you've got the variant of colours in there. So it's going to go with something in your home, isn't it? Well, it, it does. And you can choose one of these that picks up some things. So say, you know, you've got a green sofa, then this would look fantastic with sunflower because you've got the green leaves. So just pick up a little bit of colour that you've got in your room already or just a colour that you like. Or I've got a needlepoint cushion like this of a dog sat on the chair and it's so realistic. Every time I walk past it, I think, whoa, there's a dog <laughs> on the chair. I love that. I mean, this might inspire you you once you've made this to get some different artwork in your home to match the actual cushion that you're yeah, making. Yeah, it's just, it's just a starting point. I think a lot of us struggle with, oh, I don't, I need to redecorate or I need to revamp it. I don't want to paint the whole room. But just by putting, a, you know, a really bright, cheerful cushion onto a chair, it just gives it a new lease of life. And it's so lovely to do. And because you can do it sat in front of the telly without too much concentration. So that's really simple. I'll just give you a couple of tips. When you've been going sewing in and out and in and out the wool becomes a bit tangled spiraled. so every now and then just pick your canvas up and let your wool run i've only done four stitches so it's fine but if i'd done quite a lot that would all unravel and yeah. that means that your stitches on top will lie flatter so just every now and then do that and it and it will unravel a bit when you've finished the whole cushion when you've finished all the design use your background color which is really obvious which one it is because you can see on the picture on the front and just fill in all the stitching up to all the canvases have these corner points. Can you see those? Stitch yeah. right up to the corner points. And then Re your whole thing is finished. Rebecca, would you, would you suggest doing the background first or the background no, last? No, I would do it last. Okay. And you can do it first. There are no rules. You know, this is not, this is, this is something that people have been doing for years, but you can do whatever you like. The reason I would say don't do the background first is because then if you've missed any stitches as you're going along, you can just fill it in. It also means that it's, because the background stitches are being worked last, they're sort of pushing the other stitches close together. You will get a better finish. So I would say always do the background first, but you know, it's your kit, you can do whatever you like. It won't be awful, but it, it's also quite nice that when you've done all the picture, it's like colouring in the background yeah. and it just finishes it off. That's a very good point. Uh, for anyone watching, why Vivaco? Why this one day special? Well, because it's really, it's good quality. I think that when you've spent time, this is, you know, this is a long project. This is going to take you several hours that you've put a lot of time into. You don't want a cheap kit with low quality wool or low quality canvas or something that's not going to last. It's good quality and it, it's been going for 70 years so they must be doing something right you know they do a lot of research every year into what are the current trends what do people like so they do things from a traditional sunflower to a lighthouse that's a bit more modern and I I just think it is a quality company and it if you're going to put your time into it if you divide your kit price with 29.99 by how many hours you do it it's actually very cheap occupation quite a cheap hobby yeah, but yeah, it's a fantastic hobby though, because I think, and excuse the pun here, I think once you start, you'll be hooked. Well, it is, and you just think, do you know what? I'll just finish off this light green and I'll go to bed. Mm. No, well, you want to carry on because you want to see, you want to see it turn out. I mean, if you want to do the background last, you can. Maybe what I would do, I'd do a leaf and I'd do a little bit of the background because I'd be so impatient. I just want to get the background done. Well, you as want to well. see what it's going to look like because yeah. it's, it is like colouring because although the colours are here, you can see where I've started stitching. It's not only bringing the colours to life, it's adding texture to it as well. Yeah. Yeah, and it's interesting because the colour that you're using at the moment, for anyone home uh, watching, is darker than the initial colour on the actual yeah. um, kit. But that's why you link up your threads with the colours at the bottom. That's very important to do when you take that out of the box, isn't it? So yeah, it's, it is more point. vibrant, it's richer. Yeah, but it's a good starting point to get them all done as Rebecca has done just there. And then, yes, you will start to stitch away. Whether you're watching your favourite programme, Ho Chanda, of course, or whatever it is you're watching, uh, or maybe you've just got that time in the afternoon to yourself where you've got a couple of hours, you're not quite sure what to do, this is your time and you can really, really lose yourself, which is lovely, isn't it? Uh, right, now, uh, we do have 
individual options for you. Your one day special is available as a pair and you've got your backings to the cushions, but we've got individual options for you here. You have got your birds and that beautiful blossom. You've got the Jack Russell, which I absolutely adore. So, so super sweet, little puppy there. It's like a Parsons Jack Russell. You've got your Parliament of Owls, two wise owls. Um, actually, that's our Phil and Adam coming up next at seven o'clock. We've got the geometric shapes. I'm seeing flowers there. I love that, love the colors in there. We've got the little cat asleep on the bookcase. Oh, look at the puddy cat. They're always lazy, aren't they, cats? Uh, then you've got, and the robin is actually very pleased that the pussycat's gone to sleep on the bookcase. I like that robin, that's one of my favourites. And we've got that beautiful lighthouse, which is going to be the theme of our next show at seven o'clock as well. Uh, and then you've got this beautiful butterfly. Isn't that stunning? When you see the butterfly, when it's all stitched up, that is stunning. Purple butterfly, beautiful blue in the background with that cherry blossom as well. Very, very effective. And it looks fabulous. Now your one day special, the details changing on your screen right now. You get both kits, great size kits as well. And you get the backing for the cushions. So you can make the cushions. It's got the zip in, it's a working zip and it's there for you. They are 16 inches. So you get your cushion as well. Um, yeah, you can tell how big they are because I'm just, I'm reach, I need some step ladders to reach over like that. Um, it's, it's a great project to start. It's a great brand new craft to start, or it could be an old favorite of yours. 360269 is your item number, two payments of 34 pounds and 98 pence. Rebecca, thank you. We'll see you at eight o'clock Eight o'clock, yes. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, stay where you are though, because we've got plenty more coming up on her channel.